I just want you to hear. Right? Only reason it was quiet yesterday was because it was a holiday. That's the only reason. Other than that, this shit starts at 7 o'clock in the morning and goes right up until like 5. Shooting, shooting cement. Cement. Because I get these big ass cement trucks going back and forth, right? Like these things are huge. It's a cement truck. See people? All day. All day. All day. Driving up and down. This one was a sand truck or something. It's full of sand. They use a lot of sand for this stuff. They encase the whole building after they're done digging the sand. Yep. I've been listening to this since 7 o'clock this morning, all day. It hasn't even stopped for five minutes. It'll be like this all week. Business is booming. Right? This is like this all across the province, people. Right? As millions are losing their jobs. So you really need to ask yourself, who the fuck is buying these places? That truck is huge. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. I think I can put the camera maybe right here. And you can uh, listen to what I'm listening to as I'm doing this. The people that are um, running this show over here are Chinese investors. What you're hearing is the kitten locked up in the bathroom because there's nobody outside and I don't want her running around out here unsupervised. <laughs> so. <coughs> <coughs> but this is Chinese investors from China. Same thing with these uh, High rises going up 100, 200 feet away from me on this side of the street. So I get these trucks going up and down the alley all day long, and then I get them up and down to the front all day long, depending on what they're doing. Right? Because these are big buildings they're putting up. And, uh, you know, I don't know who they were selling to. Because they were selling sweets before they were built, right? They used to show down there that property all the time to uh, people. So anyway, I'm sitting here and I'm doing this and I'm like, nobody cares what you're doing. <laughs> right? Why, why, why are you taking the time to do this? Well, where's it going to get you in life? Right? Not like too many people appreciate it. I don't even know if you can hear me with the rumble of that uh, truck. Wait till you hear it rumble past my house. That uh, cat's annoying me so much. It won't stop. It's by the window. I should close the window. And the window's open. That's why. And then you hear the skill saws because they're, right, they're building it. So, I don't know, people. I want to get rid of all my paint cans this, pretty much this year, right, for the most part. What's no good is gone. It's all going to go to the paint recycling center. So last year I wanted to paint, but never got no chance, really. So this year, if you notice, I'm... I'm taking on this project 
as I'm going from place to place, that's what I'm going to be doing for the next little while, right, between trying to do using up this vinyl siding around the yard, and spruce things up with a little bit of paint. This one just happens to be a little more complicated because of these window, their doors, right? And somebody was chucking them out. What happened was they painted them white. They didn't want them. So I brought them home and then they sat in my yard for, I don't know, two, three, four years, something like that. And as they sat, a lot of that paint started to, you know, flake off, right? And then I scrubbed it as best as I could. I tried to take out as much of the paint that I could, right? And then I put them up here, and then it, again, got weatherized, and it made what little paint I couldn't get off easy to get off this time. And now I'm going to paint them inside and I'm going to do both sides, right? So because this is a hardwood, this wood is like really, really nice. Like really nice. And uh, so once it's painted, you know, these things will last for as long as this house stuff lasts and it will look really nice. So that's why I'm doing it. All right. And for all we know, by the time this place is ready to be tore down, this coat of paint that I'm putting on this wood could very well preserve these doors and they might end up being used for something else because these doors are nostalgic, right? They're very nice doors. They obviously came off of an older home that was out here and got tore down. It was somewhere out in BC. I don't know if in Surrey, I don't know where the people that had them before got these, but all I know is I really like them. And they're working out pretty good for me. Right. It's just I have to do this because I want to put two coats on. I don't want to just put one. Right. So I'm just going out of that, out of my way, that little extra mile to get my energy's worth in terms of scrubbing them, taking off the paint. You know, letting them kick around my yard all these years. <laughs> so, I just basically turned on the camera so you can hear what I listen to now. And I'm the one that received the noise complaint. Can you imagine that? You got a piece of wood. That's walnut wood in the way. Hold on. I didn't see that. There we go. Should be better. Right. But that's what bullies do. Very quick to cast judgment, but never look up their own back alley. <laughs> right. I, I still haven't heard anything from the city, so I don't know. I'm trying not to be feeling sick here, right? Like I said, it's been too many years, people. I've worked too hard and too long in this yard for this nonsense. It just, you know, reconfirms everything that I've been saying in terms of political genocide in Canada. And what's happening now is our governments are creating organ banks. Yep. China, China's got them all locked up in either prison, the Falun Gongs, 
those practitioners or Muslims and Christians someplace like a refugee camp, only it's not a refugee camp. It's an organ bank of living human beings that China harvests as they're building their fucking whatever it is they're building out here because they're building lots of shit out here. Because I told you, the politicians out here have been selling off BC for a long time to criminals, down and out fucking criminals. You can't have people, you can't have millions, millions of people lose their fucking jobs, never be able to go back to work where they can actually be true entrepreneurs or whatever it may be, excel in their careers, whatever it may be. As those people have other people like children and, you know, attached to them that depend on them, millions of lives have been destroyed, but yet, it's a building boom. A lot of Canadians prior to this fucking lockdown that everybody's on right now, uh, what do you call it? Already couldn't buy houses out here, people, because of the laundering of money going through the housing market out here. government just made it worse, that's all. Created two million more impoverished individuals in this province. <laughs> As they're offering mental health services for the ones that are beating up on each other <laughs> because of the stress. As they go to the liquor store and buy their booze, pay their taxes, right? So. See, if you notice that rumbling, beeping, hammering, skill sawing, nut, nut doesn't stop. Have you notice that? All fucking day long. And it's getting worse, not better. Well, it's been bad, actually. For a couple of years now, I just don't complain about it because, you know, what you going to do? They keep me too busy running for my life to really complain about it. Right. I don't know how much painting I'm going to get done today because this is <laughs> taking some time. I just need to do the outside, and then once the outside's done, two coats, then I can plant my plants because then I can just walk through, go in here, and I can do this side another day. It's this side that I want to do because I want my painting done early. I don't want to be painting in August. I want the painting mostly done by August when it comes to this stuff outside. Right? So what I do is I juggle my energy. I don't feel like lifting buckets of dirt or digging in dirt. I was in here digging yesterday, right? Pulling morning glory over there and digging and getting the ground ready for, I don't know, some plants. I'm running behind, right? For some kind of plants, but in this situation, some plants will be better than no plants. Right? Well, that's the way you gotta look at it. And it's all just small talk right now. So I might get lucky and get one coat on. I'm thinking just to do this one window. Once this one window's done, I'm not gonna worry about this one because I wanna do two coats, even on this other stuff. I've decided I don't think I'm gonna paint the boards but I will paint maybe the beam or something. I'll do the beams, but I don't think I'm gonna waste, I'm not gonna waste the paint on on the, the, the actual boards themselves because at some point I'm probably gonna have to run, uh, what is it called? Um, hold on a minute.
at some point, I'm probably going to have to, I'm going to end this video after this. I, just, I wasn't going to bring out the camera today. I wasn't. I just said, like, fuck it, just focus. It's too hot. I got to come into the shade. I said, fuck it. <laughs> and then the airplanes go by. Right? Try to get out of the sun a little bit. I said, fuck it. You know, just go and do what you got to do. The city's going to do what the city's going to do. You just need to go, and if this is all you have energy for, right, in the end, it's all going to come together, and when it comes together, assuming that I'm still here, people, it's, trust me, it's going to look really, really nice. So, that's what I told myself. I said, uh, just, just do what you can. It's all going to come together, you know, and, uh, but these trucks have been going, like, since 6, 7 o'clock this morning. And it hasn't let up, not even for five minutes. And I, I just wanted to point that out. So that was the excuse to turn on the camera, because I want it documented. I mean, technically I should document it every fucking day. Because these trucks are not supposed to be going up and down the alley. They're sure in the hell not supposed to be going up and down the road. But could you imagine if I started stirring up that bee's nest, what would happen? Huh. <laughs> right? Not only would you have the companies starting to fucking gang stalk you, these China companies, right? Because, you know, God forbid, they don't want to stop progress, you know. You know. But you definitely would have the city fucking start targeting you over it because as far as they're concerned, it brings tax revenue into the city which pays their paychecks, right? So... I could do this every day. Only reason it was quiet yesterday was because it was a holiday. A long, long May weekend, right? That's the only reason. So now that I know that Matilda's not in here, I can clear it out. <coughs> if I have to, I'll go to Home Depot because you can rent, you can actually rent tools at Home Depot and I'll get the right kind of saw to uh, saw my my uh, walnut rounds so I can get uh, whatever they're called right well they're called walnut rounds but in this in this case I've got stumps in here from when they tore down all those big trees out there and I, I want like one inch thick rounds right of, of this wood but you need you need a special saw for it because it, they're, they're you know they're big stumps okay eh? So, if my son can't help me with that, I might have to go to Home Depot and rent myself a, a saw to try and attempt to get at least a few of them. But I want, I want everything cleared out of here and, uh, you know, do something, right? Do something with it, especially for next year. This year is like, figure out what we're going to... I could, honestly, people, honestly, I could take this whole area and this and I could turn it into a chicken coop if I wanted to. This it's not a playhouse, it never was. It was always a hen house. It has three I'm pretty sure three nesting boxes. Because each bird has to have their own nesting box. Right? That's what they want if you have chickens. I have, it's already built in there. When I clear this all out I'll show you so you don't have to go into my old videos. But the nesting boxes are already there. I have... Um, did I run... I, I did not run... I did not run... Or did I? I don't know. No, no. I was going to... I was going to run that wiring that you put on the ground so the rats can't chew through. Eh? I was going to run it through here. That's why I bought it was because I was building Mr. Lace, right? He had his, and the chickens moved in there, and then I was going to move the chickens in here, right? So at that time, I mean, I already had Mr. Lace for like two and a half years, and I had the chickens for, I don't know, eight months, something like that. So, you know, I just wanted to make it better for the birds, right, in general. So I bought all that stuff, and I was going to lay it down on the ground, and that's why in the inside, for this whole wall, this, right, is you'll see chicken wire, right on it that 
goes like this that it would have attached you run it through put your borage on to keep the rats out right I was working on it and then of course you know city took mr. lace and took the chickens right blah 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 and then they changed the bylaw where I could have chickens if I wanted to and so you know but chickens are a lot of work and I'd want friendly chickens the chickens I had the, the females were they were skittish because I guess they were kind of like a little wild or something mr. lace was really cool but but I don't know you just you have to clean up all the time you have to have hay and, but I'll tell you fresh eggs are really really nice really nice and if we had friendly hens Oh, that would be that the kids would really like that right and chickens get along with cats too right so I wouldn't have to but the raccoons though no, that's the thing raccoons love to eat chickens so that's a big problem mr. lace got attacked by a raccoon I heard it and I came out and I had to basically beat the raccoon off mr. lace and then we took him to the vet the next day and they gave him a shot of something and I called my landlord, right? I called my landlord. It was funny, people. I'll tell you, I'm going to end this story on this one. When he first got attacked, Mr. Lace, my rooster, right? I called up Mr. Gill. I said, Mr. Gill, Mr. Gill, Mr. Lace got, you know, attacked by a raccoon. And, oh, please come to the house. I don't know what to do. So he came to the house with, with a, you know, a, a, a chung, <laughs> chop it off. Right? I guess he figured to put him out of his misery. And he, you know, he got this you know cleaver right he had a cleaver in his hand when he showed up and I'm like no you can't chop off mr. lace's head I don't think he's that serious please <sighs> so he basically said okay well you know just give him a chance we'll see what happens you know he's still alive and that's good and he, he you know he looked him over you know he looked him over where the raccoon had right and he said just take some turmeric sprinkle turmeric on it you know give him some you know keep him clean right keep take him away from the hens right let him just be by himself and you know and I said well what about taking to a vet he says yeah yeah you can do that so I took him to to a vet right a, a Punjabi man you know I think it was his first first patient as a chicken so I took him to a vet and the vet gave him um, antibiotics right for his for his water or whatever how I, or no, I put it in his mouth right he gave me antibiotics for him so between my landlord and the vet mr. mr. lace survived and uh, so it worked out really good but then you know right somebody phoned somebody complained right because somebody wanted the house or somebody didn't want to get caught with medically kidnapping Uncle John you know same old story right and uh, yeah then the city came and took him away but now apparently I can have chickens again so you know I'll clear this out and it's still up for debate you know I'd have to I'd have to build this up a little bit and encase it with chicken wires so that you know nothing can get in right because otherwise they'll jump the fence and well you can clip their wings but anyway that's that's so far off people I'm not worried about chickens right now right but this is the hen house aka then the seedling room and once I clear it out you know Andre could probably play in here so could a little M.A. right you know once it's, because it's gonna you know it's nice it's a nice little cubby hole in here so let me get back to doing what I gotta do <laughs> perks right in front of my house I can right in front of my house. What's he doing? Oh my god, this camera is sitting in something wet, people. <laughs> Ugh. Blow out my camera again. What is he doing?
<laughs> just rolls on by. Get rolling on. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Okay, I know it doesn't seem like much, right? <sighs> I have different, different paints and stuff like that, so I don't know if I'm going to do this or not. You know, it's hard to say. But anyway, just did that. This was just a can of paint I bought, like on sale. It was like forty-five dollars or something. I don't know, forty-five, fifty bucks, something like that. It was good. It's good paint, right? In terms of like outside paint. It was one of those as-is kind of paints. So, you can see what I'm doing here, right? Obviously, take off the tape, but before we do that, I'll do one more coat tomorrow, right? And then uh, Andre can, you know, touch up. And then, of course, these ones, I don't know if I have a, a forest green can of paint. I think I do, because these ones I like. I like this color. And then some of this stuff here, I've got black walnut stain still, people, in my jars, so I'm going to pull them out and I'll just restain this and you'll see, it, like, it will come right back, right? It will be very nice. And even this, right, I could make black walnut stain and, stay, and stain that. It depends on what I have for paints, I have to look around. I'm just going to, you know, I just want to make it a little nicer. And you know what, people, I might end up getting this into a chicken coop yet. You never, 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 never know. I don't know.